I swear, if I see one more developer using the Create C Sharp script menu option to create anything other than a basic runner behavior, I'm gonna do, well, nothing, because I care very little about how other developers want to waste their time. But if you want to be a more efficient developer for very little effort, then I wanna introduce you to a basic method for script templating. This method will enable you to have a menu option for creating script of objects, enums, non-derived classes, etc., from really easy to set up templates. So let me introduce you to the hidden functionality of the project window util class, and in particular, the method create script asset from template file. You won't find it in any documentation, but you will find it here in this video. First off, did you know that when you press that create C sharp script menu option, it uses a template? Well, it does, and you can find that template here. Now, if we look at this template, we can see some items enclosed in hashes, and these items are replaced with the relevant information you provided it, like when you set the name of the script. Now, we will take that code template and create a new one, but this time we will add a header and remove this code, which is unnecessary, unless you start putting in lists, etc., which you can do later on, and then re-add those particular using statements. Now, let's add a comment for this class and use the special hash name, which keeps spaces. So let's just quickly go over the other elements of this particular template. We have root namespace begin and root namespace end, which actually populates the namespace, which you should have set in this setting found under your project settings. The other item we find is hash no trim. And what this does is it actually keeps white space within our script so that when it's actually processing, it doesn't delete it and have everything bunched up together. Now, we're also gonna get rid of the update method. Now, there's a reason for this. I'm not gonna want the update here and I don't wanna have the overhead of it being called. If we do put in update, we can add back in that function later on. Now, I'm gonna create a basic pop-up menu from the project view. And I'm also going to use the path to the template, which we just created. Now, if you don't know about how to create menu options, there's plenty of videos in this channel that show you how to do that. So I'm not gonna go over it again. Now, I should stress for completeness, I'm creating a menu option manually for each of these templates. But myself, I actually populate all my menu options automagically by looking at what templates are in the project and then basically setting up those menu options ahead of time. If you're interested in how I do that, then let me know in the comments and I'll make sure to make a video on that in the future. For the next line, we'll use that project window util class and the method create script asset from template file. We'll pass it the template path that we've just used and we will give it a basic name to start off with, in this case, newscript.cs. With the code done, we are now ready to test. But before we do, let me tell you about a new option you have for supporting this channel. And that's the join button, which you can find right next to the subscription and like buttons. If you're getting lots of value from the channel, consider becoming a member. It's exactly the same as pressing the like button for each video, but some money leaves your wallet and goes into my wallet. Then I know to take some time out of my day to create another video. Kind of simple, really. With that out of the way, let's get to testing. We'll select the folder that we want the script to appear in, and then we'll press our new menu option. As you can see, a new script has now appeared, and we can change that name as we've done before with the default Unity option. Upon inspection in Visual Studio, we can see that it's correctly used our templates, and all is well in the world. Well, that was easy, but what about creating an enum? Well, here is another template I magically created beforehand and we can copy and paste the menu option that we created earlier, tweak it a little, and now we have an enum menu option. And you could do this the same for scriptable objects, you know, classes that don't derive from anything, editor scripts, creating new simple menu option scripts. The list is not endless, but it's fairly long on what you could do. Now, if we use that enum menu option, we can see if we open it up in Visual Studio that we now have an enum set up from our template. So let's do the math. If you create two classes a day and spend two minutes altering it to match your desired class style and skeleton functionality, well then you're wasting four minutes each day. Five days a week, 50 odd weeks a year, this channel just saved you around half a day this year alone. That is at least worth a like, a subscribe, and maybe even that new join option. If you're still not convinced, check out the next video on screen now.